We've got a quick review of the LS2 Explorer helmet, so stick around. Come on! Hey guys, we're back. We haven't done a, a review in a while, so we've got Sid Kid in here. Hi. She's grown by like a foot. So uh, <laughs> she's been busy with school, so she's she's doing different things now. So she's a little more advanced. We're happy. She's smart. She's doing good. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so I've been struggling with my helmet, as many of you that watch the channel have probably noticed. The microphone sound quality is terrible on the highway uh, because it's super, super loud in that LS2 Pioneer. I love the helmet, it's just kind of noisy. Um, so what I did was I searched around and I found that not very many companies make a relatively quiet helmet, really, without spending tons of money. Usually you gotta spend five or 600 bucks. Um, I finally found a single review on this helmet, someone on LS or on uh, YouTube, um, that had purchased this. It's the LS2 Explorer. Okay, it's dot, it's dot uh, uh, approved. approved. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> it's got some pretty cool features. So first thing we're going to talk about is the the sound quality in this thing. And it's like, it's really, it's night and day over the Pioneer. And that was the biggest selling point to me. This thing is literally like 50 or 60% quieter than the other helmet. It's, it's like half of the noise. It's way, way better. Um, so that should really help us. Uh, once I get this all outfitted with my camera gear and everything, we should be able to get some much better sound quality at speed. Um, another cool thing with this is the venting. So uh, I'm gonna have Sid, Sid can show you all the cool vents. The Pioneer doesn't have any adjustable vents. None of them open or close, nothing. And it only had a couple. This has lots of vents, so. Okay, so there's a vent right here. So you got one on the exhaust side. And then there's another one right here. And, and you got a front there. one, okay. And then, then we've got, oh yeah, we've got the side the ones. Side one. And then we've even got an opening and closing one on the, on the snap. Right. Yep, very cool. And they do make a considerable difference when you're riding. You can definitely feel them when you open and close them. Um, I really like that. Uh, another cool thing about this helmet that the Pioneer didn't have, well, had, it had a peak, obviously, but as you can see, they really redesigned this. They opened it up a lot. Um, and I think part of that was to get, oops, no, no, okay. Part of that was to get so that the visor would clear because on the on the old one you would get a rub spot at the top of the of the visor when you if you ran it all the way up and, and left it there and let it rattle. So that's cool, it doesn't hit anymore. But because they opened this up so much and raised it up, you still get the shade from it that you get on the Pioneer, but you don't get the whiplash from the freeway wind. Um, on my bike, I've got a fairing. Most people don't even have that on most typical dual sports. Um, and it gets the wind off of me, off of my chest and everything, but it hits me just, just below the visor. And with the Pioneer, it was like a sail. You know, you get in a good wind and it was, your neck would be sore after a couple hours of riding the bike from just fighting the wind. This is a dramatic improvement. It, it, there's, you almost don't even notice that there's a, that there's a, a, a peak on the top there. Um, it's, it's almost as good as one of my street bike helmets. It's, it really is, it's, it's considerably improved. Um, the other cool thing, oh, that's something I wanted to talk about. You want to try this thing on for me? Yes. We'll squeeze it on. I gotta, gotta get her to model this for me real quick. Let me get everything out of the way so I don't rip your ears off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, get that on there. <sighs> you squeeze it in there. Put that noggin in the hole. Okay, all right. Okay, so we'll move this open so you can breathe a little bit. Okay, so everybody knows that the LS2 helmets, they all, they all have this cool visor system for the sunglasses, okay? But this one really works good. 
okay? It really moves. The other one would get stuck, it would hang up. It felt like it was only actuated from one side. It would get kind of cocked in there sometimes. And granted, it was their first try at it. Um, they also, the big thing to me is right here. Okay, on the other one, on the Pioneer, it would sit just like just below your bottom eyelid, right? And so you'd get this gap of bright and a dark on the top and it would really mess with you. You can see there's a little gap here, but but they put this, this big nose thing, which helps with fogging, anti-fog, but they also made these come all the way down to where it almost touches and it's way, way better. You can actually use this and it's not, it doesn't disorient you in the, in the dirt like, like the old one did. Um, I think that's a big deal. Um, it's, uh, oh, it's got, uh, it's got built-in uh, headphone, or not headphone, but uh, speaker recesses in the foam, which the Pioneer did not have. I actually had to cut the foam out just a little bit to get them in there, um, which was a little sketchy for safety reasons. Um, I got that. Oh, it's got a pretty neat strap system. If you can look straight up for me, Sid. Okay, see, the other LS2, try not to get your hair caught in here, had a similar ratchet system, but it was plastic. And I never really trusted the plastic. This one's made out of metal. It clips on. I can do this better when it's on me, but it goes in like that. And then it's got this little magnetic tab, right? So when you want to take it off, you just pull the little magnetic tab, you pull it down and out it comes. So it works pretty good. Uh, it takes a little getting used to. The plastic one was, was big, so you could feel it easy with gloves. So searching for this with gloves takes a little getting used to, but once you get it, once you learn where it is, it's not hard at all. Um, let's see. What else did we talk about? What else did we need to talk about? Am, am I forgetting? Oh, the visor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay, so the visor has the pin-on, uh, I forget what it's called, but the pin-on anti-fog system, um, which is pretty neat. Um, it's, it's like a, it's some, somehow it clips on there. I, I haven't tried it yet, but I, it's not cold enough here. I, I don't get a lot of fogging, so maybe up in the mountains I might need it. But um, for those of you that, that need that type of thing, it does have it. Um, let's see. Oh, you're, oh, look, you're getting foggy now. <laughs> she's, try, she's trying to fog it up. <laughs> it's all that hot air. You must be like your dad. I don't know. I'm talking all the time. <laughs> um, okay, so that's been, that's been really good. We're going to get this thing all outfitted with the, uh, with the uh, 360 cam bracket that I made. Uh, I'm, I'm working on making some, some custom because it's, it's, it's a little awkward for this one because there's not a place to like really stick it. Um, GoPro guys, you can, you can run them down here, but 360 cam sits up so tall. Um, I'm trying to figure out a way to lay it sideways and get a horizontal bracket system. When I get to that, I'll probably do a small video on it because uh, I think it's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to fabricate it out of aluminum and, and use some, uh, some, some good 3M tape uh, and stick it on there. Um, but I think that's pretty much it for this guy. Um, I think you can't really go wrong. It's a really, really good looking helmet. Um, the white, I didn't know this until I bought it, but the white is a pearl white, so it's really pretty. Um, it looks really nice in the sunshine. I don't know if you can make out the sparkles, but it's it's a really nice pearl white. Um, it's uh, You get kind of a stormtrooper look, you know? Uh, <laughs> I always thought that was cool. Oh, let's, let's show you one other thing, too. It does have the removable cheek pads down here. You just grab the two little deals and pull them out for, for anyone that's that's injured, if you get in a crash or whatever, and you don't want to disrupt their neck for fear of a neck injury, you can pull those cheek pads out and it's much easier to get the helmet off. So that's a really good safety feature. Um, yeah, the, the, the peak is adjustable. It has several clicks front and back. Uh, you can move that around. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, guys. So we do have some neat stuff coming. Uh, we've got a big camping trip her and I are gonna do. We're gonna go and, and probably camp at Corn Springs. Uh, if you wanna see what that looks like, um, I did a quick little walkthrough of the of the site, but we're gonna go do we're gonna go do an overnight there here coming up pretty soon. That should be fun. Should be we should freeze our butts off at night. It should be cool. <laughs> we got some new uh, we got some new uh, uh, sleeping bags though, so that should help. Last time we had just a blanket over us and, and our air mattresses, and we froze our butts off. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, Definitely keep stick with the channel and we appreciate all the likes and all the subscribers. We're doing really good. We're getting we're knocking on the door of a thousand subs. So keep it coming, keep it coming. We uh we're working on it. Uh I, I they say that the algorithm really takes off after a thousand, so we'll see. <laughs> um we'll see how it goes. 
Anyway, stick with the channel, guys. We're not going to stop doing anything. We appreciate it. Have a good one. Like a tiny stormtrooper with a big head. <laughs>